everybody, welcome to my channel again. It's Joe Jaguar. Again, for those that haven't watched my previous uh, videos, why do I call myself that? First of all, my license plate, Joe Jaguar. My name, Joe Aguiar. Put a J in front of my last name and you got Jaguar. Then, uh, and that was on a Jaguar too, actually, which is kind of neat. And then in my youth, I was in a band. Uh, that was uh, my nickname since I was 17 years old. So anyway, what is this? This is one of the most popular telescope packages there are out there. It's an 8 inch SCT Schmidt Cassegrain, uh, which is big enough to see a lot of deep sky objects, good for the planets. Uh, so this is an 8 inch size F10. Uh, what's neat about it, right now I've got a 2 inch focuser on it. You could have an inch and a quarter focuser in, in it, if, or you can put an inch and a quarter focuser if you like, a 2 inch. If you want to get wider field of views, because it is F10, which is 2,000 millimeter focal length, so that's uh, that's a lot. Uh, you can put a focal reducer in here, converting it to uh, F6.3, so almost half. Uh, I have the red dot finder on it, and this has been one of the, I mean, uh, Celestron need uh, basically the two top uh, companies when it comes to SCTs. Uh, they probably sell hundreds of thousands a year, easy. Uh, this is the orange tube by Celestron. Uh, there's a black tube with a gray tube. Uh, Meat has a blue tube and a white tube. But anyway, throughout the years, this is one of the best selling. Uh, EQ5 is what it normally comes with. It's semi-portable. Um, if you probably have to carry it in the hallway, elevator, if you live in an apartment, might be a tad heavy, an EQ5. You might be able to put it on an EQ4 or a CG4, um, but it's probably going to be near the limit of this scope, especially once you put a couple live pieces and if you have a regular uh, 8 or 9 by 50 finder, and then you're going to need a dew cap on there because in hot, humid days in the summer, your front corrector plate is just going to do up. So you would need a dew cap. So uh, you could do it. Um, again, on the CG4, not recommended unless you really need a portable setup to carry out with you. But if you live like in a house type of sitting, uh, or you know, if it's just something you just take outside, you should put it on the EQ5. It just will be better balanced, be more stable anyway. Uh, this here, as you can see, it has fast star in it. Another good feature of this is you can put, uh, it's called a system on here, which is like a camera turning this into an F2 system, uh, which is for astrophotography and imaging. And this is, uh, those are some of the reasons why that this, uh, I just want to go in, where is those little clips? And that's why this size is probably, like I said, one of the best selling, just because it's eight inches, which is, you know, that's the size you want when you want to look at deep sky and above. So eight, eight inches, small package, and I think it's 14 pounds, this too. So it's not very heavy. Um, and that's it. Just thought I'd show you guys what an SCT looks like on an EQ5. Uh, a nice portable telescope type of thing. Uh, and semi-large. I mean, definitely you can go larger. Um, but, uh, you know, Celestron makes a nine and a quarter inch. Probably can't go on the EQ5, CG5. You're probably going to need the HEQ5 then, uh, or maybe at least the LXD85 mount uh, type of thing. But that's what a 8 inch on the EQ5 looks like. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, really good uh, setup for both visual and imagers. Uh, it's a great telescope. One of the best things is its portability, uh, being you know so small and light. Okay, guys, cheers.